Okay, so now we have our completed uh, possum. It's completely dry. Um, you know, they, they don't take long. They're much shorter than a coon. They've got thinner, thinner leather to dry out. But um, as always, you know, check around the arms. Make sure, uh, make sure it's dry around the arms and uh, get it all wiped down nice. If you missed some fat, now's the time to take your knife and just very carefully, you know, slice it off. So we got uh, coons all done, or excuse me, possum. Possum's all done. And uh, we're just gonna, you can see how the tail dried, you know, pinned out in a little square like that. So we're gonna get these pins pulled out and then there's a little bit of, a little bit of fat right on the edge, which will probably, you know, it happens on most things, happens on most of your coons and, and stuff too. So I'll just show you how to, how to really get that cleaned up nice if, um, if that happens to you which you know it happens to most people that's just the way it when it rolls off the edge you usually got a little bit left so right here there's just a little bit of fat you know it rolled off the edge but didn't clean off so we'll just take our knife and just kind of slice right along the edge and cut it off so you can see there's just cut a little bit of a little bit of fat off there and I like to do it, you know, usually it'll still dry out, but I like to do it, it cleans it up a little bit, makes it look a little nicer. So just check your edges, always check your edges, same with your raccoons, just check your edges like that. And uh, looks pretty good. Now one thing I'm gonna say when you're doing this, um, we cut an inspection window in here, you know, nice and presentable. And quite honestly, it doesn't need to be that big. Um, I like to do it and uh, you know, it's each your own, you won't really get docked for it, but if it's smaller, that's fine. Don't go any bigger than this, but you can keep it a little smaller if you want. And if you do if you do a female, I would recommend almost not even wasting your time on a female because their bellies are so thin, you're almost always gonna rip them open. So uh, you're just gonna have nothing but problems. So uh, only do nice big male possums. So we'll just pull the board out here. Get that out of the way. Get the belly wedge out of the way. And now you can see it, that, that's paper thin. So you can almost see my gloves right through there. So you want to come in here though and get that, that hair nice and fluffed up again. You know, make it look, uh, make it look like a high dollar possum. So just uh, get it ruffled up. I always like to come in on the edges, just like a raccoon, comb back. You know, comb it all back, and then we're gonna come back in here and comb it forward again. That'll get it nice, nice and looking good. Comb this up, and then also comb it, comb the hair on the legs towards the inspection window. So we got it all combed, hopefully in the camera, combed in there, looks real nice. Now you just give it the fluff up, really get it nice and fluffed up. Uh, you know, you want your best looking presentation. Now, since the uh, possums are not worth a whole lot this year, this one, uh, you know, it's probably the only one I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna donate it to uh, a program where they, where the program tans them and you use them for educational purposes. So that's where this one's going, um, you know, cause the dollar, if I might get a dollar for it, yeah, it doesn't really pay. If people can learn something from it, uh, that, that's worth it, I guess, to me. So that's what's happening with this one, but we've got a nice dry, dry uh, possum. Now make sure too, when you're checking it over, you look in the head, around the neck, you know, you want that to be dry too, but obviously around the arms is probably the biggest one on a possum. So now I'm just gonna store it just like a raccoon. I hang it up on my, hang it up on my uh, rack up in the ceiling, just uh, it's just chicken wire. So it can get, still get air circulated around on both sides just to make sure it stays dry and everything. Now, if you can hang them up on a fur hanger too, through the eye and just, you know, hang them upright, that works too. Just make sure you keep them out of the way from any mice or anything that can get to them. You know, you don't want, you don't want, uh, you don't want mice destroying your fur. I was, went on vacation once for a week and I had, came back and I had mice chewed on my fur. So you don't want that to happen to you. But anyways, that's a, that's completed possum.